Ms. Bailey, you first met the defendant when you were 14 years old? Mm-hmm. He's my brother's friend. He would hang around, but it wasn't nothing. you have nothing. a crush on him? No. I never what, did. When, did you, when did you get a crush on him? Like in my 30s. Took that long? <laughs> no? Okay. And how about you, Mr. Roberts? In her, in her 30s, when she came back from Atlanta, and I seen her again. Mm -hmm. And what was it that, that led you to be attracted to her? Well, she was... At that time, she was very sweet and kind. <laughs> at that time. <laughs> yeah, she, yes. she was cute. I mean, I hadn't seen her in a long time when we started dating. And you got along pretty well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what made you be attracted to uh, Mr. Roberts? He's a good dad. He's a person... That even though who he is get on my nerve, but, but all in all, he's a good father to his children. He raised them himself. Cool dude, but a weirdo. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> Mr. Roberts, you have their two, two bundles. What, what are they? Well, this is a picture she says she's suing me for that she couldn't get back and this and that. Your yeah, Honor, that right there is not all of my pictures. I, I have my pictures in a container. So that means that he went through my stuff. And so where's the rest of my stuff? Is in the containers. I got the pictures where all the containers... Matter of fact, I tell you, since she's been gone, I never went in the shed. I ain't got nothing in that shed. So, according to you, whatever the plaintiff left in the shed is still there. Yeah. So you never went through the I never went in there. So I, 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 I still, to this day, I haven't went into it. Ms. Bailey, you have uh, a manila envelope there. What is that? The paperwork from when we won the case over the stove. Okay. And he needs to file, like, a lien. And he asked you for those, and you didn't give them to him? It wasn't like that. Actually, I'm the one who filed the case, so... So you kept control. So he asked me to help him with the lien thing. You're prepared to give them yeah. back to him? Yeah. Well, she never did. I'm, now, I'm listen, holding now, this now, stuff. Now, I'm not holding second. this listen stuff. Listen to me. I've read your cross-complaint very carefully. And don't you feel that the basis of this complaint is just kind of like a retaliation for her suing you at this point? Not really. Uh, uh, because I kept her stuff for So you're years. suing her because she didn't give you legal papers back, but you could easily have gotten a copy from the court. Well, I, I didn't know I could. I, I didn't even know I could. And you're also suing her for storage fees now, when initially that was never on the understanding that you were going to charge her for storage fees. Come on. But, but if she would have went somewhere else, they would have got stuff with her stuff a long time. Well, let's ago. take back another step. What you did in one instance concerned me. Ms. Bailey asked you for those photographs back, and you told her that you threw them away. Yeah, you know why I did that? Because I was on my way to work. It's 5 30 in the morning. It's dark. Her brother originally posted came and got the photo uh, you, two you were years upset. ago. You were upset. Right. But still, you can't deny that you kind of rubbed it in a little bit. Well, she want to be controlling like that. Like, she wanted me to just jump and do it right then and there. I was going to give her stuff back. Matter of fact, I texted her and told her she can come and get it before I even got the papers to go to court. And let me start with you, Mr. Roberts, because I was looking through the text messages and it seemed like Ms. Bailey was trying on a number of occasions to try to get her stuff and you just kind of... No, I got, I, got, I got text messages here where I told her in 2021 to come and get her stuff. What happened in 2020? In 2020... Because you said you I didn't really need... I moved out in okay. October of 2020. Yeah, right, right. And so... He's my brother's friend. He's also my nephew's godfather. You know, so we would still have conversations, just regular being friends. So you never asked for your things at that point? Yes, no, because did. they were in, in the storage. He never said anything about me coming to get my things. Okay. I, I always knew they were there. When did you actually ask him for your things? Can you give me a year? It was in November of 2021. That's the first time that I said I was coming to get my stuff. So, is this a text November 2nd? And I'm assuming that's 2021. Yeah. Good morning, Esteban. I need to come clear out that storage. When are you home for me to do that? Exactly. That's And story. November 5th is when you said you responded, correct? Yeah. And there are some opportunities here, Ms. Bailey, for you to go get your things. Why didn't mm -hmm. you go get them? During that time, he was going out of town. So then I contacted him back because I wanted my brother to go get it. I didn't really want to be dealing anymore. He gave you he gave you some a specific time frame for your brother to go yeah, get it. Why did and, that happen? And so my brother couldn't make it because he had to work. And so then I left it up to my brother to contact him and to grabbing the stuff. My brother never showed up. Okay. Mm -hmm. 